through our careers, we were leather workers. And in the Middle Ages, we formed ourselves into a guild, as many other professions did. The modern company is a descendant of that guild. What do we do today? Well, because we were a leather company, we do lots to support leather manufacture, craftsmanship, education in Britain. Because we were based in London, we want to contribute to life, culture, education here in the city in which we all live as well. For that reason, this year we set up a secondary school history essay prize. Because we're a leather company, we opened this prize up to schools in Southwark. As some of you may know, Bermondsey was the centre of leather production and leather industry in London, and in fact at one point even in the country. There were some very, very good entries, but we could only give one prize. The winner of the prize gets invited to a ceremony at the Guild Hall in a month's time, where the Lord Mayor will present a cheque for £250. Someone from the school would also be invited to collect a cheque for £250 to go to the school's history department. We said that this was an extraordinarily mature and engaging read. It made good use of both primary and secondary sources, and it introduced and presented them to what we felt was undergraduate standard. So the winner of the inaugural Curriers Company Secondary School History Essay Prize is Greta Pesolat. Shaking, but the good effort in, about the work in, so I'm really happy about it. Um, I really liked how he said that my um, argument was well constructed. But I'd love to go to Ho um, Oxford and study history and English to be a war reporter. Greta is an exceptional historian. Every single essay she writes in lessons and in exams is of undergraduate standard already. So it's a privilege to teach someone who's so passionate about history.